hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. You know what time it is, don't you? End of the month. Hmm. It's that time at end of the month where all the votes are cast. We add them all up and we put them into an order. 15 down to number 1. And there's a couple of ties in here. So... There's more than 15 names, but there's 15 places up for grabs. And I know that all of them, all of them love it because they all watch it. Well, nearly all of them anyway. But uh, we'll have some fun with this week. So in at number 15, it's the haymaker, David Costcutter Hay, a.k.a. the prostitute. Now, David Hay, he couldn't lie straight in bed, could he? He couldn't lie straight in bed, but he's made it into the top 15 on Porky's Corner. Um, we know why, don't we? You've only just got to look at his antics in the last few months. Recently, when he had Joe Joyce, who were calling out Chisora, saying it's a great fight and everybody wanted to see it. Now, Joyce left him and David's ended up with Chisora now. But there's no mention of Joe Joyce and... That's what you're up against. So what he'll do, he'll run Chisora into the ground with Eddie Earn. Then he'll jump over to Frank Warren, run him into the ground with him. Then he'll MMA, UFC him. Then he'll put him out to pasture and move on to the next one. And that's just how leeches work. So David A, pound for pound, pork his corner, number 15. <laughs> In at number 14, it's my former neighbour, the white rhino himself, Dave Allen. Joint 14 with Dave Penfold Coldwell. Now, Dave Allen's got the votes. We know why he's got them this month, don't we? Outpricing himself for the Huey Fury fight. Asking for astronomical amounts of money. Dave, what are you doing, man? You're from Cunnysborough. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But now, Dave wants Megado to fight Yui Fury just as he wanted Megado to fight Daniel Dubois. It ain't happening, so you're twiddling your thumbs now, aren't you, David? Bad advice you're being, you're being given, but it is what it is. Coldwell. You've had votes this month, Caldwell, for these stupid podcasts that you're doing, rimming all things Matchroom and rimming all things Sky. You should be embarrassed, man. Go on, get yourself off. So, Dave Allen and Caldwell in at number 14. In at number 13, and I'll have him number one every week. It's Bean! Runner Bean, could have been, should have been, never been, baked Bean. Beanie! Creepy Bean. You'd be my number one... Helmet every month Bean, because you are a helmet. Now we've saw books about it Bean, your biggest helmet out there. But you've had a pass this month Bean, so you're not a helmet winner. You're in at number 13, you've dropped down the pecking order Bean! So, 
It is what it is. In at number 12, this is probably one of the biggest, biggest rimmers or monitor lizards that I've ever had the chance to meet in boxing. This guy is just, he's one of the biggest hanging out of the back of people's rear ends that you could ever wish to meet. Gareth A. Davis, you rimmer, you should be embarrassed, you're in at number 12. I don't even want to talk about you. I don't know you, don't want to know you. In at number 11. <laughs> in at number 11, the disappearing man himself. The man that wants to disappear and be left alone. Anthony, Mr. Vacant Bell Bellew. Mr. Won two world title fights against Macabu, a blown up light heavyweight. And Blowjob Flores, David A's big chum over the slipped in on a Sky show. How Blowjob, sorry, BJ Flores, how he ended up with a WBC title shot, I will never know, but Mr. Vacant Bell ended up dealing with him, didn't he? But could you imagine what Carl Froch had done to BJ Flores or Macabo? He would have iced them! He would have iced them because he's an ice man. But. Tony Bell, I mean, look how he went out against the Usek. He knew we were going to get beat. He blagged it that lot, that far, so like he did it like heavyweight, didn't he? He tried to blag it at like heavyweight. He got fun out against the Southpaw. Tried to blag it at cruiserweight. Swerved the WBSS. Only got two world title wins. And ended up with four pay-per-views. I mean, this man is the only fighter to leave Frank Warren and not get sued. This man has blagged it. But you know when you blag it, you get found out and you sell your soul. And he sold his soul, didn't it? It's nice to go out winning, isn't it? Especially in a world title fight and knocking somebody out. Like Carl Froch or, you know, Lennox Lewis. Look how he went out, though. On the seat of his pants. And every time anybody mentions Usek, he's hanging out the back of him. Tony, it's embarrassing. Just disappear, mate. You're giving me an ulcer. I mean, I, I see more of you now than when you were boxing. You, if you're not on IFL or Sky or Soccer AM, you're on that, that uh, SAS program, making out that you're going to do people in and this and that. You're not like that in real life, Tony. You're not like that. It's all for effect. Stop it. Stop it, Tony. Stop it, please. Just disappear. All right? Disappear. In at number 10. <laughs> He's there again, isn't he? Dillian the Body Snatcher. Why? The man whose best belt at home is a British title that were vacant against Ian Lewinson. Where is Dillian White heading? I don't want to hear any more bleating. Oh, I can't cope with this. I can't cope with it. I don't want to hear any more bleating about WBC title shots or world title shots. You've knocked more eliminators back and world title shots back than God knows what. Ortez twice, final eliminators. Uh, you've knocked Brazil fight back. You priced your Sonata Andy Ruiz fight, that's a fact. You wanted uh, something negotiated in rematch for fighting Joshua. Knock Joshua out at Wembley in front of 90,000 for four belts, then negotiate. You know, you're, you're knocking fights back, but then you're bleating about it, Dillian. Go on, get your sent off. I'm not interested, mate. Serve papers on the WBC and sue them and put the papers on social media and let's see. Let's see you do that. Hunt that fight down. Sue the WBC. Stop being Eddie Hearn's little spare wheel. You wheel. So. In at number nine. Hmm. It's little Andrew Bullcroft. A.K.A. Steffi Bull with his fake name. Running all his fake accounts. Well. Steffi's been caught out yet again, hasn't he? Texting somebody on his Twitter, but he was on Terry Harper's Twitter because he runs her Twitter, doesn't he? Texting somebody on Twitter and he forgot who he were again, yet again. The the fans point it out and they send all the all the emails in and the vote. Steffi, you've been caught out again. 
It's it's embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as that village people tash that you're driving around Denneby with. Go speak to somebody, Steffi, get some help. In at number eight, it's Calla. <laughs> Mr. Gurner himself, how are you doing, Calla? So, I hope you're well, Calla. Get help, but that gurning's no good, mate. You, you end up coming out in spots and eat lumps and all sorts and looking out at window all night, thinking Gwyn Whale's going to come and get you, getting paranoid. Listen, Calla, go and get help. All right. Cocaine is bad for you, trust me. It's bad for you. It, it warps your brain. I mean, look at me. Jesus. So, Calla Sowland, go and get help. In at number seven, it's Tyson Fury. Uh, Tyson Fury's had loads of votes because I think he's it's overkill now, isn't it? Tyson Fury on social media. It's a bit like Steffi Bull, isn't it? Hanging out at the back of Eddie Hearn all the time on Twitter. Tyson, it's overkill. You're just overdoing it now. You know, people like you should know better. You're, you're overkilling yourself and you're digging your sending holes and contradicting yourself all the time. Just go about your business and keep training. I don't want to turn my computer on and see you doing press-ups in your house every two minutes. It's like uh, that program we are real where people just send videos into the self. It's becoming a bit embarrassing now. We want to see some fights. We just don't... It's, Tyson's now becoming famous for being famous. Instead of being the best heavyweight boxer of his generation, he's is, is, is undoing all his all what he's doing. So stop it, Tyson, please. It's becoming a bit embarrassing. So Tyson Fury, number seven. In at number six, it's Johnny! Johnny's always there or thereabouts, isn't he? Johnny Nelson is... He's consistent with helmets, isn't he? I don't know why, he just uh, he just seems to rub people up the wrong way. It's his company madness, isn't it? You know, he, he's embarrassing and he's reading off the same hymn sheet as the big wigs at Sky, isn't he? There's nobody out of them pundits that tells it straight anymore, isn't there? Carl Froch tells it straight. Who else, though? Duke McKenzie? They don't have him on much, do they? Jim Watt used to, but they got rid of him. Glenn McCrory used to, but they got rid of him. You've got to read off the same hymn sheet, and it's it's now become embarrassing. Johnny, you're a figure of fun in, in Sheffield for boxing, Johnny. It's When people mention your name now, Johnny, they forget that you were a boxer. They just talk about your company madness. You know, when you said Kel Brook beats Golovkin and... Errol Spence and you can see how Conor McGregor knocks Mayweather out late on and, and uh, Tackham's like Holyfield and George Foreman rolled into one and Joshua's in big trouble. You know, Johnny, you're pushing somebody else's narrative. Grow a pair, Johnny, and be your own man. You've become embarrassing, all right? And this is the last time I'm going to tell you, Johnny. Grow a pair. But it is what it is, isn't it? In at number five. Old Juggy is himself with his air transplant, Spencer Oliver. You should be embarrassed the amount of rooming you do at Sky as well, but that air transplant is well dodgy. Well, well dodgy. But luckily it might grow on sides and you might be able to grow it over them Juggy ears of yours. So Spencer Oliver, helmet at month number five for Porky's Corner. Don't have nightmares. In at number four, first time in, first ever, new entry. And... He's had loads of votes this month, loads. Sam Jones, I don't really know him, I don't follow him. I don't even think I've seen a single interview uh, with him, but he seems to have rubbed the hardcores up the wrong way. So, Sam Jones, element number four, you've been voted in, Sam. What What can I say to that, Sam? It's, uh, it's a bit shocking, isn't it? So, in at number three. <laughs> it's Coogie Bear Coogan. You know why you're in, don't you? You know why you're in, Coogan, don't you? You've had the votes, you're in. I think it's mainly all the complaints that I'm getting Coogan about you. It's mainly you're putting repeats on on your channel IFF or IF, not IFF, IFL TV. You're putting repeats on constantly. You're putting repeats on. 
and people are watching it and then they're realising it's repeats but you're not bothered about that because they've already the ad money's already already gone through I think clickbaiting and the repeats is main complaints we're getting about you plus you're reading other people's narratives Coogan aren't you you're a fantastic interviewer but you're letting yourself down so Coogan Cassius number three pound for pound in at number two it's Eddie Hearn well Eddie Relentless Hearn his dad gave him matchroom boxing Sky gave him the platform Dazongi in the platform EIS gave him the pick of the GB team Olympians and world championship amateurs and European championship guys and they give him the pick up there don't they and uh, you know he's got the cast of Tawi he comps them at shows and they're telling everybody to go at show there's no boxing fans at shows anymore it's just casuals they don't understand it they cut the roll in about 10 o'clock at night for the last fight. That is it. That is it. That's not boxing fans, that. You're slowly killing the sport, Eddie. So that's my opinion. That's why I think you're going to be in and out and gone. But Eddie, you're number two, pound for pound on Porky's Corner for Helmet of the Month. You're always there or thereabouts, aren't you, Eddie? But do you care? No. Do I care? I care about boxing. I don't care about you, Eddie. I don't even like you. So... In at number one. Can only be one person for this month, can't it? For that speech. Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Reading somebody else's speech. So he said. Telling people not to go in in certain people's shops and this and that. I'm not going to get too deep into that, but what he should have done, we're going to spoke from the heart, and he should have said, look, we're it, his people are not about looting and rioting and and all that and should have asked them all to stop that and protest pro, protest pe, protest peacefully shouldn't he but he couldn't do that could he all he's done is add fire to, to it and looking at social media all his sponsors are in bits because people are boycotting them aren't they and that's why Eddie Earn, I've been told off a very good source, has told him to shut up and stay out of the way and let, let them clean the mess up. But look at the mess they've cleaned. They've put a video out, haven't they? A PR video showing statue getting pushed into Arbor and all that and, and saying they're bringing boxing back. Well, boxing's coming back after it were banned because it virus, not because they're rioting and Black Lives Matter, Eddie. I mean, what, what, what's that about? You know, if you want to talk about slave trade statues and all that, your dad was saying he were a slave trader, wasn't he? With Dillian White next to him. They all contradict themselves. They all want to jump on something that's that's big in the news and, and get their piece of it. A bit like when Kel Brook got stabbed, Eddie Earn made it about him, didn't he? And there's other things he's made it about him as well, but Joshua slipped up there. He's pound for pound, number one. Helmet of the month on Porky's Corner. Behaving like that and strutting about with... Him and his gang all in the same outfit. And what is all that about? Joshua gets away with murder. Yeah, I agree with Tyson Fury. If he'd have said what, he, what Joshua would have said, he'd have got lynched, wouldn't he? He'd have got hammered in press. But Joshua gets away with it time and time again, doesn't he? He gets away with it because of the people around them. You know, Sky and all these media platforms. Everybody wants access to them. They get away with it, don't they? They get away with it. All right, so there's your top 15. Porky's Corner, fuck month. David A15, Dave Allen and Dave Caldwell 14. Uh, Adam Smith 13, Mr. Bean. Gareth A. Davis 12. Tony Bellew 11. Dylan White 10. Steffi Ball 9. Calla. Calla. Calla Sowland 8. Tyson Fury 7. Johnny Nelson 6. Spencer Oliver 5, Sam Jones 4, Coogan Cassius 3, Eddie Earn 2 and Anthony Joshua 1. Alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, alright? Big shout out to Lacoste and Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging and Watch Finder. Alright, peace. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. The voice of hardcore fishing. (laughs) 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 
You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>